slide. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you remember, in my earlier lectures, I have already explained to you a couple of different methods to solve for uh, one dimensional problem in the sense that a function with only one variable how do you figure out the minimum or the maximum or in general we say how do you find out the optimum of a given function small f that have only one variable at that time I mentioned that we can use either golden search section method or we can use the Newton Repson method Newton method uh, the difference between those two methods I explained earlier in the sense that the golden search method is like a bracketing method where the user required to provide the initial estimation for the lower bound and the upper bound of the solution. And then hopefully when the iteration going on, you can shrink that interval to a smaller, smaller value until it converges. That golden search section method is always guaranteed to convert, assuming that you know to set up the proper initial low bound, upper bound. On the other hand, the Newton method that I explained also in the earlier chapter, in the previous lecture, it can help you to figure out the optimum solution just simply by providing the initial guess. You don't have to provide the low bound, upper bound. Now, let me try to expand the idea so that we will be trying to solve an optimum solution for the multi-dimensional case. What I mean is that if I give you a function that have more than one variable, could be two, could be three, and so on, how do you figure out the optimum solution numerically? Okay? So let's see on the next slide. Uh, more detail you can see on the website mathforcollege.com. You are free to share the information presented here under a certain condition that you see on the screen. Okay, let me give you some big picture, the overview about the multi-dimensional direct search. Uh, we will try to figure out the solution, the optimum solution. Or when I say optimum solution, I mean find the minimum or the maximum of the given function value. Uh, keep in mind that because in this lecture, we'll try to solve a more general problem in the sense that it have two or more than two variables. So computationally, it will be more costly and more involved. Uh, you can use the so-called direct search method, but the thing, the thing is, the main thing is, you need to have the so-called a good initial estimation of the solution in order to obtain the optimum solution at the end. Uh, in the so-called direct search method, the objective function need not be differentiable. Okay? So, let's see a little bit more detail about how do we handle the optimum solution for the situation when you have more than one variable. Well, do you remember in the earlier lecture, I already explained to you how to solve the optimum solution for a given function f that have only one variable. Well, in this situation, let's say suppose you have two variables instead of one. Like you have the variable x and also the variable y. Well, according to the previous knowledge, we only know how to handle the case where the function have only one variable. So that means one of the simple strategy is we just try to solve one variable at a time. One variable at a time. And when you try to find out the optimum solution, 
let's say corresponding to the first variable, we mean we're talking about the direction uh, 1, 0. When you try to solve for the optimal solution corresponding to the first variable, we call, we are trying to do in the direction 1, 0. When you do that, you keep the second variable like a fixed number, nothing changed. After you obtain the optimum solution for the first variable, then you do the optimum solution for the second variable, which in this case we call in the direction 0, 1. When you finish both variables in the direction 1, 0 for the first variable and in the direction 0, 1 for the second variable, we say that we complete one iteration. And then after that, you repeat again and again and again until the final optimum solution is obtained. Now actually so far I look like I say a lot but people used to say like a picture worth more than a thousand words. So to help you to understand much easier let's take a look at the next slide that I will show you a picture. Okay? Suppose if you look on the, the, the slide here, suppose I want to say find the variable, let's say L represent the length and theta represent the angle such that it will minimize or let's say maximize or in general, I just say to find out the optimum solution of a given function f that depending on both the first variable is length and the second variable is theta. So for a given for a given function small f depending on two variables l and theta, how do you find out the optimum solution? Well, the idea is very simple as you can see on the screen I show you the horizontal axis that represent the length L and the vertical axis represent the angle theta. Now all you have to do for this situation with two variables is very similar like before you start with the initial guess which is right here. This is the initial guess. You have let's say at point A is the initial guess. Now obviously at that initial guess you should know the length and the angle theta for a certain value that you guess. Okay? Based on that initial guess that you are at point A, what you can do, you can assume that you try to do the optimization in the direction in the direction 1, 0, which basically means in the direction of the first variable. Now, when you try to do the, the first variable is L, by the way, and the second variable is, is, is theta. So, you try to do optimization in the first direction, that means involved with the variable L. And when you do that, you have to assume the second variable theta is constant. So, as you can see, when you assume theta is constant, theta is constant, theta is constant. If you assume theta is a constant, that means if you assume theta is a constant, that means now your function is only a function of only one variable L. And because the function f now, a function of only one variable l, you can use golden section search or Newton method that I already explained to you in the earlier lecture. And you can find out the optimum solution in the first direction, which is related to the variable l, assuming theta is constant. That will bring you to this point right here, which I call point b. Then, using point B as the 
initial guess, you will try to say, how do I find out the optimum solution of the function f, small f given again, in general, in terms of L and theta. But this time, you do the optimum solution in the direction 0, 1. In the direction 0, 1. Which means in the direction of theta. Assuming L is fixed. L is not changed. Well, you can see if you assume you do the optimization in the direction 0, 1, that means in the direction of the variable theta holding the variable L fixed. That means you try to figure out the optimum solution in this direction right there. As you can see, to go from point B to point C, you can see clearly the value of the length is not changed. Okay? So now, because this L is like fixed, so you only have to find out the optimum solution of F in terms of one variable theta. And that will bring you to point C. After you fit to go from A to B and from B to C, we say we complete one iteration. After that, we repeat the same procedure from point C using that as the initial guess. You do the optimum solution in the direction 1, 0 again, which means in the direction of L. So that will give you to the optimum point, which I call point D. And then, from point D, you do an optimum solution corresponding to the direction 0, 1, which means you do optimization assuming with the only one variable theta. And that will give you, that will give you the next point, which is point uh, D. Okay, so by doing that, you go from D to E, and then from E to F, and F to, and eventually you will hit the optimum point. So to summarize it, the idea is very, very simple. If you have a function of two variables, starting with the initial guess, assuming you do the optimum solution with respect to the first variable only, which I call the direction 1, 0, when you finish it, you assume that you do the optimization with the respect to the second variable only, which you call the direction 0, 1, and then you keep repeating until you convert. And this same idea can be exp expand even further to three variable or n variable. Okay? And that is basically the end of uh, this uh, lecture. And uh, here's the acknowledgement. And uh, more information you can figure find out in uh, mathforcollege.com. Thank you.